I mean, it, when they put it together, obviously they thought this was a, a two or three year window. And if I'm a player, I probably do think that, yeah, this window isn't, isn't shut. And this was a rough year. The, the problem is the team, the front office, they have to look at everything. They have to decide where the real flaws were. And I think these players have to be willing to adjust uh, to make this work. The name of the game, apparently, as all these players started to head off for the offseason, was continuity, time spent together, a little bit of running it back. No better and, time to get uh, continuity than that. Cancun, baby. And um, this not necessarily being a one-year window. Here's what Bradley Beal had to say about it. Yeah, 100%. You know, you, you still got to, you know, we didn't look at this thing as a one-year thing and, you know, we're going to come in and just, oh, we only got this year to figure it out. Like, you know, we got... We got time, you know, you don't want to use that as like a cop out, but, you know, and it just the reality we live in, like that's that's the game plan. You know, we have we have a window. Yeah, it's a short window, but we have a window, you know, so we want to maximize it as much as possible. And obviously we still have a lot of room to grow. We all have to be better. I got to be better and we all have to be better as an organization and, and move towards that goal of, of winning the title, uh, which isn't easy. You know, um, we're not going to sit here and, and say it's easy like and, you know when we everything happened this summer and moves were made like everybody had that oh this is this is it but you still got to work out the kinks you still got to make sure it fits well and everybody's on the same page and we're working towards that same goal and i think everybody has that mindset and it just didn't it just didn't fall are we buying what he's selling that it wasn't a one-year window and there's still a couple years left in the quote-unquote window i don't know about a couple years but you could sell me on the fact that these three need more time, at least one more season to try and figure it out. Mm -hmm. You could sell me on that. But again, like everything else, everything else has to fall into place too, whether it be the, the, the support that they're getting off the bench, other key role players, and then literally the other support on the bench in terms of the coaching staff and what they're trying to provide. Um, I think that's almost just as important as – the big three and and how they're going to move forward because if you don't have everything else structured and into a place that makes sense for everybody to be able to thrive then you're just repeating the same process all over again yeah i i think that i mean when they put it together obviously they thought this was a a two or three year window and if i'm a player i probably do think that yeah this window isn't isn't shut and this was a rough year the the problem is the team, the front office, they have to look at everything. They have to decide where the real flaws were. And I think these players have to be willing to adjust uh, to make this work. I mean, we ha saw a lot of talk uh, at times this year, should Brad Beal be a sixth man? Maybe that needs to be on the table so you can bring in a point guard. Uh, they're, they're, you know, how does KD really want to fit into an offense? All these things – these guys are going to have to be willing to change a little bit too to make adjustments because the way that these three guys were together this year didn't work, just didn't. Mm -hmm. And so if you want a multiple year window, you have to be willing to change a little bit too. And then you have to trust your front office, whoever's running the show to find those pieces on the bench that can give you more depth, that can make it where you don't have to score a combined 95 points to win a game. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of things that have to change, even if you keep the core of it and there is continuity in order for you to succeed. You know what else is something that nobody really talks about? Think about, I mean, I feel like the Suns have 18,000 assistant coaches. Okay. And they're all, they all have different assignments, but that doesn't mean that they all don't talk to all the players. You know, it's not like, you know, Miles Simon is only talking to book and beal and you know no Grace but Nally, i think you know they I mean? all do have like their guys they, they all they sure they sure they have their their preferred relationships if you will I, sure but and they have their assignments like i'm in charge of like, like the pull big post men guys or, big, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but you know how much of that lack of continuity with those individuals bled into what the sons were having to deal with all system long as well like i feel like there was a lack of continuity in multiple different facets with this organization and you can even go up to the front office 
Who's really calling the shots? Is it James Jones? Is it Josh Barlstein? Did Matt Ishbia make all the calls? Like, is it's there just, a ghost? In you there? know what I mean? There's like all these different floating parts that you just can't really, you know, narrow down. And I think when you have something like that as a player, it feels a little unstable. And when it feels a little unstable, it's hard to find continuity. And it sounds like maybe we're we're, we're blowing this way out of proportion, and maybe we're putting way too much more of an emphasis than it really needs to happen. But listen, man. I, from personal experience at any level, like, you know, when you're in a, in a set organization that's been around for decades, you know, if you work for ESPN versus a startup, you know, you're probably going to feel a little bit more stable in terms of, you know, the stability of your own j- job and career than mentally, than, than, than a startup, <laughs> right? Not saying that anything's wrong with us, uh, but like, you know, there's some, there's, there's some inherent things that, that you gotta, there's, some, there's some inherent things that you have to deal with that make you feel a little unnerved. And I think, you know, I think everything kind of bleeds into each other all yeah. the way through the organization. Darth Boyd has said in the chat, friend of the program, what's up, said he went from it's time to we got time. 